Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens, Jeremy Boring, and the rest of the Daily Wire have been involved in a ton of controversy recently, and it doesn't get any better for them. As more and more people speak out against the Daily Wire, and the Daily Wire try to push back on those people, you know, Ben Shapiro talking in public, and also Jeremy Boring going on Twitter spaces and having people ask him questions, and he gets very defensive at certain questions, won't answer certain things about Candace Owens and her firing from the Daily Wire. It's just getting worse and worse because now people are tired, they're fed up with with everything that's being taught, you know, told to them about the Daily Wire and about the Daily Wire telling them about themselves. And, you know, they're just they're fed up with the Daily Wire. And we have people like Mark Dice now digging deep and finding things about the Daily Wire that we didn't even know before. And also some recent events happening that are just making them look really, really bad. So this video right here is from Mark Dice, and it says the Daily Wire's hypocrisy and cowardice is worse than we thought. Let's check out this clip here from Mark Dice just shredding Ben Shapiro after, you know, all this Daily Wire controversy. Let's check this out. That's a serious concern to me. If he loses, uh, I think that he hurts conservatism less in some ways because there's been a repudiation of, of some of the things that he believes and says. Because little Ben was concerned that Donald Trump was going to cut government spending so much that that would also include cutting foreign aid to a certain little foreign country over in the Middle East. The existence of the state of Israel is the single greatest guarantor of my loyalty to the United States, frankly. Right, because Israel exists, that means the United States is going to be a more welcoming place for me because Israel is there as a backstop in case anything should go wrong. There's so much more that you should know because these videos are just the tip of the iceberg. It's, it's crazy. It's just the Daily Wire tries to claim that they're pro-free speech, they're pro-America, all of these things. And every single time you try to criticize them, every single time you say even statements such as Christ is King, Anytime you say anything that's not super pro that certain country over in the Middle East, it's it's not even related sometimes. You just it's just a criticism or it's just a statement that isn't necessarily extremely pro that country. Every single time you do that, they cry anti-Semitism. Every single time. And Ben Shapiro, I mean, obviously this is anti-Semitism counter right here. You can't see it, but there is a little counter over on the side of the screen. You should be able to see it now. And it's like every single time, like it's it's no different. They're no better than BLM. They're no they're no better than the the woke movement because every time you criticize someone on the woke side of things, they never come back at you with facts or logic like Ben Shapiro always likes to say. Everybody on the woke side always comes back with emotion, with ad hominem attacks, with buzzwords. You're this istophobe. You're that istophobe. You know, you're you're racist. You're sexist. Whatever the case is. They always come back with that. And now the Daily Wire has their ultimate trump card where they don't have to ever present any facts or logic. Their ultimate trump card is, oh, you just hate this certain group of people that we belong to. You know, you're just anti-Semitic. That's that's their trump card. That's their get out of jail free card. They can do whatever they want now. And, you know, people like Candace Owens insinuating, and I, I would think that this is a, a very logical conclusion to make and someone like candace owens has been on the inside of the daily wire for quite a while has been insinuating that they're actually paid off by these people to say these certain things and, and defend that certain country as much as they do crazy anti-semitic things which is anti-semitism kanye west uh, said some anti-semitic things and there are no two ways about this the things that he said are not just like a little anti-semitic they're very anti-semitic this is all really bad stuff suffice it to say this is all very anti-semitic and really really bad stuff he is saying openly anti-semitic stuff they are anti-semitic i mean there there's no two ways about them be no sympathy for anti-semitic statements i think is a is a fairly decent rule when it comes to situations like this one so again this is an anti-semitic trope that that basically you can't say bad things about jews if you enjoy content like this and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel it really does help me out a ton let's get back to the video i mean i've made my thoughts about kanye west pretty clear i mean what he said is anti-semitic there's no question about it i mean what what he said is pure rote anti-semitism i mean this is all anti-semitism kanye's anti-semitic remarks saying openly anti-semitic stuff and tucker cut a segment from his interview with kanye in which kanye said a bunch of anti-semitic stuff ridiculous anti-semitic jerk undoubtedly anti-semitic remarks anti-semitism and and the scope of anti-semitism it's again for the 1000th time are in fact anti-semitic that's the way this works there is a another kanye west anti-semitism story so you get the picture every single time ben shapiro disagrees with someone every single time ben shapiro was criticized by someone he cries anti-semitism and that's not the only case that mark dice brings up in this video of this hypocrisy and, and cowardice from the daily wire let's check out this a couple of other clips here that mark dice brings up in this very very good video and not only do they not follow judaism of the old testament they don't follow any religion whatsoever so this guy ethically is a jew says he accepted jesus but 
doesn't want Ben Shapiro to accept Jesus because, well, I'll let him explain. And, and you know, I, un- I understand this. All, every, all of you who love Ben, and I love Ben, and Jordan Peterson, you all want to see them find Jesus because you know what joy and, and freedom that gives you, and, and you certainly feel that it alters your relationship with God. But when I think about this, to be honest with you, uh, you know, and I know some people will disagree with this, but I, life is not a game show where you guess the name of God and, and you get to go to heaven. Honk, you know, yes, the name is Jesus. Uh, I look at Ben's life and I think if, if Ben were to embrace Jesus Christ, it would cause devastation to his family, to the people who love him, to the people who listen to him, to his position in the world. I just have this feeling that God has put this guy where he wants him to do what he wants him to do. And as you know, I feel that, you know, that we're not abandoned by God. Actually, sir, Jesus specifically said that may be one of the consequences of following him. And if you're not willing to do that, then you're not going to enter into fellowship with the one true God. Ben Shapiro doesn't even believe you have a soul. This is the final statement that Candace Owens made on what would be the last episode of her show. And even though it's very obvious what happened, even if you saw my previous breakdown of what happened, you definitely have to hear this. I want to be clear to you guys. I'm going to be honest with you because everybody's noticing it. Every single political commentator in America, every single one of them knows this, that if you do not step out and say things that are radically pro-Israel, or if you are too quiet on certain narratives and they want you to be radically pro-Israel, you can lose everything. That's truth. That is a fact. I'm not, I'm not feeling like I need to hide from that anymore because, or be afraid to say it rather, is a better way to say it. I don't know if you guys remember, but Candace Owens used to be pretty close with Ye or Kanye West. And it's, I mean, it's, it's crazy to me. It's great that there are people out there, I should say, like Candace Owens still, because I've, you know, I've been in these circles before, you know, I've met a lot of these people. Most of them are just out there for money. None of them really care about anything that they're talking about. They don't have any morals or principles or values. They're just doing this for money. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that, I don't think. Um, when there becomes issues is when you're directly going against any morals that you actually do have. And when you start to go against everything America stands for, for that money, that's that's when the, the problems arise. But what, for someone like Candace Owens, she could have definitely just stayed quiet on the issue and kept her job, kept making money, not get you know debanked and no fly listed, like I'm sure is coming very, very soon if she stays down this path, you know, and yeah, I respect. Like that's, that's all I can say is respect to Candace Owens because she sees a cause that she she cares about a lot. She sees a lot of hypocrisy from the Daily Wire and from a lot of conservatives out there right now, and she's calling them out. And she's willing to risk losing her job with the Daily Wire, you know, losing her bank accounts and losing everything, like she was saying right there, you know. And like I said earlier, she Candace Owens was very close with Kanye West, and he lost everything because of this same exact thing. Now he did it in a little bit less elegant way than Candace Owens is doing it. But same thing, same line of questioning. So, you know, respect to her for, for seeing a cause and, and attacking that, you know, and not really caring about the consequences that are most definitely coming for her soon. Because I've endured this for years. I'm just at the end of my rope. I've, I have given so much rope here and I am just done with it. Every person that you are a fan of, they know this. Every person that you line up to go here speak, they know this. Again, it's not even on the basis of what you say. It can sometimes be on the basis of what you don't say. That an entire mob will assemble, you'll write piece after piece after piece until you subjugate. If you don't subjugate, the bounty grows larger. So yes, there was a large bounty on my head for the crime of refusing to suddenly hate Muslims and yeah, it's it's just wild, man. Like the the stuff that they've tried to force these people into, the stuff that I mean, everything. It's not like it's just crazy to me. It's not even just conservatives, not other conservatives that will write, you know, certain hit pieces, do hit piece videos, fire you from their jobs, but it's all these different platforms. Even, you know, X or Twitter, Elon Musk bows down to these same people. He bans whoever they tell him to ban and he claims free speech on his platform. It's just wild, man. It's crazy the world we live in. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this Mark Dice video just shredding the Daily Wire even further, exposing all their hypocrisy and cowardice. Let me know what you're thinking about Candace Owens, you know, getting fired from the Daily Wire and this whole situation. 
getting real messy, and I don't think it's going away anytime soon. So let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this Daily Wire and Candace Owens situation. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.